Okay, so it's now 11.17 on, what say, Monday, July 3rd. Yeah, I've got my American flag type shirt on today. And, why, why is it so dark all of a sudden? It's like, hold on. Light, when I have the camera on, I just took a picture. And then it, when I start filming, poof, it's dark again. I don't know what the deal with that is, and I can't... I can't adjust the lighting. Ooh, that, that is that it, you don't need a close up of my face right now. Yeah, so I don't know what the deal is. But anyhow, apparently my what's I don't know how the weather is, like I know I have some like bad skin going on right now. And I was about to film my grandparents are back home. So I'm back in my own place. And apparently we're not gonna go to fireworks tomorrow. Um it's supposed to rain here tomorrow. I don't know, like, what time. But, you know, I always thought fireworks were on the 4th. Apparently, my hometown decided to have them on the 1st of July, which I didn't even find out about until yesterday or early this morning at, like, 2 a.m. So, I can, if, if we had wanted, like, if I had wanted to go see fireworks, I completely missed them because they were on July freaking 1st, whatever that's about. Um, there's going to be some, like, the next county over, but I don't know exactly where, and, eh, I don't know how that's going to be. Um, really, like, I don't mind going to see fireworks, it's just that there are very few areas to go see them, and everybody tries to go into those areas, or those locations, so you can imagine how the traffic is. Um, like the fireworks, hate the traffic. No desire to sit in that traffic to watch a few minutes of fireworks. So, I mean, like, I want to go, but to me, the amount of time I would have to sit in traffic for the few minutes there would be fireworks just isn't worth it. So, yeah. But apparent, but also, tomorrow morning, my ca my little hometown is having a lawnmower parade. I'm not even joking. No fireworks tomorrow night, but tomorrow morning we have a lawnmower parade. Yeah, I, I won't be attending. Mm, no. Um, so yeah. And Okay, so I had to reset my router. Came out with no internet, so I probably got my internet back, so that's good. Um, I had something... Ooh, I left it. Go me, I left a popsicle wrapper sitting here for three days, three or four days, however many days it was. Just throw that away, I don't know what... I just, I have, like, the memory span of a gnat. So, yeah, I completely forgot that. Um, I'll cut the air on in a bit. My little, I'm not going to show you that junk pack there. Um, my AC doesn't work, so that's fine. It's going to be in the 90s this week, and I have no AC. Woohoo! Um, I do have one of those little stand-up AC unit things, so I can get in the cold if I get too hot, but if, like, if I'm going around my house, it, it doesn't circulate at all. So, yay! Um, there's a thing I want to try to do tomorrow. We'll see if it works. I wanted to do, um, I guess, did I get it out? No, it's still in my car. I don't feel like, I'm not making another trip to my car, so you have to see what I'm talking about tomorrow. So, a long time ago, um, we got, my family got me one of those, like, crystal growing kits. Like, you put it in a jar or something, you add stuff, and it grows crystals. And it comes with, like, little figurines. Uh, the one I have comes with a dolphin, and apparently I had opened it, like, the packaging, but I never did anything with it. I think I had the mermaid one, too? I think the mermaid was blonde. I forget, this magic green crystals or something. I forget the name of it. But I'm going to try to do that tomorrow. And I emphasize try because the, like, sodium something, some kind of chemical that comes in a packet... I'm pretty sure it's, it's supposed to be a powder that you pour out. Uh, the packet is hard as a brick, so that's going to be interesting. There's a lot I wanted to do while I was at my grandparents' house, but I just did not have the energy to do any of it. Um, like I would like I would, I would finally get to sleep and wake up. I, I somehow managed to wake up a little before nine. And then again, I had my grand call me and the cat. A, cat, a hungry cat does not care if you've slept well or not. So, there's that. Um, so, I didn't get much sleep. And then I had to be somewhere. I just had to go take care of my granny. Who, some days she was okay. Some days she was a bit off. Because, um, 
like I said before, she had the UTI, so that the infection can affect your brain somehow. Um, so, and like, I've been bringing, she's like, she's 92, she's going to be 93 later this year. And, you know, like, I do genealogy, and also I have this book, one of those questions you ask your grandma books. And it, and we've been working on that for a while. Like, every time I go watch her, we'll bring it, and I'll ask her questions just to give her something to do. Because she can't see. So, and, you know, she, she there's not much you can do down there when you when she can't see, except for listening to church music that comes down there, like, once a week. And, like, how long was Was I gone for, like, Tuesday? Four days? I even like I don't even know how many days I was gone there. Four days, I think. Yeah, they left Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. However many days I was gone. Like one of those days, she was completely out of it. Um, so I didn't get to ask her much. And yesterday was my last day watching her, and I thought, you know, I'll ask her questions about her kids, how they were growing up. I think I mentioned this yesterday. You know, maybe some funny stories that I hadn't heard about and whatnot. Like, this one time, I think it was my aunt, one of my aunts, slept, walk, and tried to pee in her father's boot. So that was interesting and kind of funny. Um, another, my other aunt used to sing, the, instead of singing the B-I-B-L-E, the, let's say, the B-I-B-L-E, the, that's the book for me, she sang the B-I-L-E-L-E, and my gran, her first word was shit. It, side note, it was supposed to be sit, but she can't pronounce it right, so it was the curse word. You know, little fun stories like that, that, you know, told a little better than I just did there. That that wasn't told very well. But I'm just rambling right now, so, me. Um, you know, and maybe ask, you know, but what was it like walking your first daughter to her first day of school? Things like that. Instead, she asked me about her cousins or her father's cousins.